Hi friends, it's Miss Victoria from the Ridgewood Public Library. I hope you're doing well. I have a fun story time for you today about robots. And I have a few books and a few songs to share with you. Our first book is called R is for Robot. This is written by Adam Watkins. A is for Auga. B is for Beep Boop. Funny sounds that robots make, right? C is for Clang, Clink, Crash, Clank. D is for Drip, Drop. E is for E. F is for flick. G is for grrr. H is for hiss. I is for ick. J is for jolt. A is for kapow. L is for la la la. For those singing robots that you know. I don't really know any of those. M is for meep. N is for nay. Horsey robot. Robots make a lot of funny sounds, don't they? O is for ooze. P is for or puff, 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 puff. The robot that's chugging along in the tractor. Q is for quack. R is for rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. S is for squeak. T is for tick-tock like the clock. U is for oomph. Better put a lot of strength into that. Looks like a heavy U. V is for vroom, for lots of power. W is for whirr, whirr. X is for explode. Y is for yoink. And Z is for zap. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Heard a lot of interesting alphabet sounds from our robots. And that's the end. Good listening. So because we read about alphabet sounds that have to do with robots, let's sing the alphabet song together. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Well, I hope you sang with me this time, but certainly next time you can again. So let's go on to our next book. This is called Boy and Bot, and this is written by Aim Dykeman.
A boy was collecting pine cones in his wagon when he met a robot. Hi, said the boy. Wanna play? The robot blinked. Affirmative. They played, they had fun. But as they rolled down the hill, a rock bumped the robot's power switch and the robot turned off. What's wrong, the boy asked. He didn't know that his switch got turned off. The robot did not answer. Are you sick, the boy asked. The robot still did not answer. I must help him, the boy said. What can he do? He doesn't know what's wrong. So he took the robot home. The boy fed him applesauce. He read the robot a story and he tucked him in. Good night, bot, the boy whispered and climbed into bed. He was hoping that all those things would make his, ro his robot friend feel better, right? Later, the boy's parents peeked in on him. They did not see Bot behind the door. The door bumped Bot on his power switch. Beep, Bot turned on. What is wrong, Bot asked. The boy did not answer. Now what happened? The robot found the boy sleeping. So he wasn't making any, um, having any response, was he? Did you malfunction, Bot asked. The boy still did not answer. I must help him, Bot said. So now the roles are reversed and the robot wants to help the boy. So he took the boy home. Whoops. He read the boy an instruction manual. That's like a rope, uh, bedtime story. Bot gave him oil and he was bringing him a spare battery when the inventor walked in. That's who takes care of the robot when he malfunctions and to make sure he's working properly. Stop, the inventor shouted. That is a boy. He doesn't need a recharged battery, does he? We recharge in different ways. We sleep, we eat. The boy woke with a start. Then he saw a bot. The boy smiled. Boo, you are cured. Boy lit up. Boy, you are fixed. The inventor called boy's parents. Then he drove boy home. Good night, bot, boy said. Good night, boy, bot said. Wanna play tomorrow? Boy nodded. Affirmative. Affirmative is a fancy way for saying yes, right? And sometimes robots speak in those kind of official ways. And the friends did. They got together the next day and they had a really good time playing all kinds of things. Look at all these activities they did. They drew pictures, they picked apples, they went bird watching, they had snacks. They took pictures together and gave each other hugs. They even went in the little swimming pool. Not sure how that works for a robot. He might have a short. And then they took a walk together. What a nice day for two friends. So speaking of friends, one of my favorite songs is called The More We Get Together. Maybe you know it. Let's sing that one. It's pretty easy to follow along if you're not familiar with it. Okay, we'll go through it a couple times so you can follow along with me. Let's start. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Should we do it one more time? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. 
more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job. And now on to our next book. This is called Robot in Love. Cute. This is written by T.L. Macbeth. day like any other. The robot said click, gurgle, munch, beep, beep, beep. Those are all kind of familiar robot sounds, aren't they? Then I saw her. I had never seen anyone so beautiful. As the robot gasped while walking down Electric Avenue. She was so shiny. I wanted to say something, but I was too shy. I thought about her all day. I wasn't really paying a lot of attention as I was crossing the streets with the cars honking at me, honk, honk, honk. And this person he was sniffing and she said, hey, and here, whoosh and splash, zap, he went into a puddle. He had a little bit of a short, like we were talking about before, that sometimes happens if a robot gets wet or something electrical. I'm okay, even with a little sizzle, sizzle. I guess he didn't get too wet, so the damage wasn't too bad. The next morning, I went back to see if she was still there. She was. I tried to think of something clever to say, but I was too nervous. Does not compute error, error, error. System overload. Some more robot speak. My vision programming malfunctioned. My hydraulic limbs felt weak. My circuit board nearly jumped out of my chest unit. I would have to try again tomorrow. The next day, I went to our meeting spot. I finally worked up the courage to talk to her. Greetings, I said. Our connection was electric. Swoon. I set out to make her something beautiful. I was so excited I couldn't go into sleep mode. Excitement overload. But the next morning when I went to see her, she was gone. Oh no. Ah, a very upset and heartbroken robot. I looked everywhere. Not under this canine. Scanning, negative, no results found. Not in the tree, not in the log, the hollow log. No trace out here. No sign of her anywhere. I was about to give up. Sniffle. Oh, poor sad robot. He had an idea. I went back to our meeting spot. This time I went inside. <gasps> Toastomatic. Display only, not for sale. There she was up on the pedestal. We were together at last. She said nothing, but she didn't have to. ran away together. I don't know if the store owner liked that too much, but the robot certainly was happy. We have so much in common. We're both shy. Is that a toaster those people said? We're both shiny. The robot and the toaster are both shiny. And guess what? We both love toast. Perfect. 
think it's a match made in heaven. So speaking about love in that book, let's sing Skinnamarink, okay? You probably know that song. Skinnamarink, a dink, a dink, Skinnamarink, a do. I love you. Skinnamarink, a dink, a dink, Skinnamarink, a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skinnamarink, a dink, a dink, Skinnamarink, a do. I love you. Good job. And now we have a little bit more time for our last book. This is called Brobot Bedtime. And this story is written by Sudipta Barden Qualen. Robots, it has been a long day and you need to recharge. Time to enter sleep mode. Good night, Crash. Good night, Beep. Good night, Buzz. Sweet dreams, every bot. Stop pressing my buttons. What do you want? Sounds like they can't get to sleep. I think that's a familiar problem, isn't it? A lot of times we have trouble getting to sleep. I cannot sleep. I have the flick ups. Help me. Maybe if you drink a nice cup of oil, the flick ups will go away. Hmm. Just like you might have a glass of water, right? Here you go, beep. Oil is for robots, though. You had some oil. Negative. That did not work. Hmm, that's too bad. Let's see what other solutions we can figure out. Boo! Has anyone ever scared the hiccups out of you? That might work. Why did you do that? No more flick ups. Sometimes we can scare them right out. Stop! I'm trying to sleep. What is the problem this time, Beep? I still cannot sleep. I'm scared of monsters. Uh-oh, we know there's no such thing as monsters. Calm down, Beep, you're going to have a breakdown. I know what we need to do. Hmm, let's see. Now there's nothing to be scared of. Turn the lights on. Affirmative, this is perfect. But wait, this does not compute. I cannot sleep with the lights on. So it might make one person not feel scared, but another person or a robot might not be able to sleep in the bright lights. Okay, let's shift gears. There, now the light will not bother you. So he went into a tent and kind of covered him up. Error, error. Now it is too hot. Uh, another problem. This will cool you down. Look, he brought him a fan. But the fan is very noisy. And he cannot sleep with that noise. This is not working. What are we going to do? I do not know. Robots, it is way past your bedtime. Why are there still, still gears turning up there? Do you three need a hard reboot? Robots, we need a plan. Robots, confirm final systems checks. Affirmative. Beverage sipped? Affirmative. Mask tidied? Affirmative. Lights dimmed? Affirmative. Blanket tent constructed? Affirmative. Fan adjusted? Affirmative. Sounds like they checked everything off their bedtime list. 
Almost anyway. Almost there, Brobots. Noise muted? Affirmative. Good night, Crash. Good night, Beep. Good night, Buzz. Sweet dreams, everybot. Seems like it worked. But wait. <gasps> I cannot believe it. And I cannot sleep. Uh-oh, what's the problem now? Oh, brother. One of them is snoring. It's so hard to sleep when somebody's snoring. That was silly. I hope those robots or brobots can figure out how to get to sleep. Maybe what they need is a nice little good night song. Why don't we sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Maybe that will help them, okay? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job, everyone. Good listening, good singing along. I'm so glad you joined me today, and I look forward to our next story time together. See you soon.